Now, the danger of repeated concussion in amateur and professional sport was highlighted once again as Connacht captain Craig Clark announced he is to retire from rugby after suffering a string of head injuries. While last week, US President Barack Obama called for more robust research into youth concussions. Joining us this morning to discuss this is Dr. Sinead Byrne and former Irish rugby international Trevor Hogan. You're both very welcome this morning. Um, Sinead, before we get into um, concussions in young athletes, I wanted to mention Michael Noonan. Mm. Um, the prognosis for him is good. Uh, do we know what sort of cancer he had? It's being, people are saying yeah. skin cancer, you think it's something else? You see, it, it, sarcoma isn't a very rare cancer, it's a soft tissue cancer and really depends on the exact type he has, but it sounds like his prognosis is really good once it hasn't spread and, and it clearly hasn't, so I think he should do really well. There's about 120 oddish people per year and um, that would get it so about 120 okay. people so it's not that common so it's not a skin cancer it's a soft tissue cancer and okay. it the sounds like he seems do really good. well and we yeah. wish him well we wish him um, continued health it's great that he's worked his way through yeah. it now let's talk about concussion I want to ask you first of all what is concussion and mm. how do you recognise it? So it's a mild traumatic brain injury caused by a blow to the head that it disturbs it, the brain's functioning. So the brain doesn't function like it should. Um, it can occur very easily on a, a, a sports field um, and really it needs to be taken very seriously. Most people will recover, you know, 100% after a concussion, but if you don't kind of rest the head, you know, come off the pitch um, and really rest both mentally and physically. So stop doing the exercise and stop even, com you know, using computers, watching TV, texting, just total and utter rest for at least 24 hours. Um, it can be uh, worrying if somebody goes so back and, and doesn't rest. Is a bang on the head equals concussion straight away or how do you know mm. you've got concussion you know for sports people themselves to just recognize it because yeah. a lot of sports guys especially rugby guys we'll speak mm. to Trevor in a second they're tough guys mm. they just get up shake it off and carry on so I think the awareness is really improving in the last few years but you know before 2000 there was much less awareness I think it happened probably quite a lot and the attitude was to brave it and go out there and go back and play but the signs uh, need to be recognized you know by parents by players themselves um, you know, you can get a headache, nausea, dizziness, lightheadedness, just feeling a bit groggy and uh, not yourself. But often the player themselves will be very keen to get back onto a pitch or the person that has that concussion and they won't often recognise it. And it really depends on a coach, a parent, you know, a fellow teammate to say this person, we know they're not right, you know, and anyone who gets a bang to the head, it really has to be taken seriously. You need to be assessed medically. Um, you know, the brain is fragile and you only have one brain and, and one one chance. So to damage it, to it is, it, is yeah. pretty awful. You know? Trevor, I'll bring you in here now. Uh, we were just chatting about this in the break and I was saying, you must have taken loads of knocks on the head over the years. And you said not that many that resulted in serious concussion. But when you were saying you were younger, you just got up and carried on. But that's changed now. I think so, definitely. Like. Yeah. Uh, as Sinead was saying there, there, there's definitely a culture in rugby especially and it can be a good thing in a way when you are injured you don't want to show it to the opposition, you don't want to show your weakness and uh, it's a little bit complete up the reverse of soccer for example where you see lads dive and trying to you know, ex exacerbate their, their hurt but when it comes to the head I think that, that kind of you know, macho-ness isn't, isn't, isn't necessary, it's, it's, it's completely out of order, Do it's counterproductive. Do you look back at your career and go, geez, there was that time I took a whack and I should have come off and I didn't? Well, uh, for me, I, I, wore, I wore a scrum cap, so that kind of, there's no evidence, scientific evidence behind that protecting you, but any time I wore that, I found myself that I didn't get the knocks I might have got without, without it. For, for example, a couple of times, you know, Every rugby player, professional anyway, is going to experience, I would think, some form of mild concussion. Which, which if not severe concussion, yeah, let's be honest. The yeah, hits exactly. are huge these mm. days. Uh, but back then, back you know, even five or six years ago, it wouldn't have been acknowledged as such. You'd, you'd probably, you would shake it off. You know, I, I'd experience, you're going to be running full force into, into rocks, into other bodies, and your head is bound to get some sort of contact there, where you might experience a little bit of a form of, of seeing stars or a little bit of lightheadedness. But to be honest, like I, you, did you experience that yourself? I would have experienced maybe once and you or just, twice. You just got up that. and carried on. And yeah, but yeah. but now with the level of awareness that's, that's around that, if that would happen now, I would say every straight away you'd be re straight over to the physio and you tell them that and you'd be you'd be taken out of it. Whereas before. You know, I think players would have that culture of trying to, you know, look after themselves uh, in terms of getting on the team and, and and furthering their career. But now it's not worth the risk when you hear of the 
really tragic stories yeah. that we all know about Ben Robinson for example the young 14 year old yeah kid. we had his yeah. father on the sofa here and mm. talked to him and terribly tragic yeah. and he does great work in trying to raise awareness exactly yeah, yeah Tim has been brilliant and, and, and in a way that's that's what that's where it's at now at the moment is the raising awareness and education about it but uh, as Sinead said as well it's got to be kind of taken out of the hands of the players because they're not really in a position to say I've been concussed um, take me out they've got their own kind of interests they have their own agenda going and on which is agenda. play you know and they're competitive yeah. by their very nature so they're going to want to get back up and get back on there so they need someone else to yeah. step in and go you're not right sit down there exactly yeah. i think the irfu's guidelines on concussion have been leading the way in, in in this even ahead of the irb who are the international governing board and it's it's pretty much close to a kind of zero tolerance approach if you experience any symptoms you're off the field straight away and you shouldn't really be coming back on i know there's this rule where players are allowed to come back on after five minutes ten minutes but I, I'm pretty sure in 10, 15 years time that will be strengthened we, no but we look back on that and, we'll, and they'll think that was a crazy rule yeah. you shouldn't be allowed five minutes is not enough to assess the situation Sinead you're nodding your head what for yeah. parents at home now whose sons and daughters are playing sports it doesn't just have to be mm. rugby any contact sport and they take a knock on the head yeah. and their school says oh sure they're grand they can play in the match on Saturday whatever yeah. parents should feel completely within their rights to say no full mm. rest for 24 hours absolutely completely agree with uh, Trevor there just get off the pitch and you need to be medically assessed um, and really observations for 24 hours not to leave somebody who's concussed alone even if they're sleeping at night you need to check on them every so often and if you lose consciousness uh, consciousness at all that means hospital straight to any yeah absolutely okay. without a doubt but you really need to see a doctor um, or a physio and I completely agree with Trevor there the five minute rule was crazy well we're, we're moving in the right direction which is yeah. good okay thank you very much thank Sinead you. and Trevor thank you very much as well no